So let's go ahead and build our first application. We're going to use a VCL application, which you can go file new VCL forms application. And we're going to use Delphi for this. As you create your first project, you'll see you have in the project manager here, the project and its name. And in the project, we can see that we're currently building for Win32. And we can add a target platform of Win64 in here as well if we wanted to switch between Win32 and Win64. But we also have here our unit. Now the unit has a DFM, a form that comes with um, the unit here that's been added. And if we go and we'll, we'll come back to the, the Pascal file in a moment, but let's just add a few controls onto the form to start. So I'm going to add down a button, an edit control, and a list box. I'm just going to drag and drop, move these controls around. This is a very rapid way to build. Now I'm going to just take the button here and I'm going to update the caption to add me. And if you want to, you can also rename the controls. I'm using the object inspector here and you can go find the name of the control. Maybe call it you know, BTN add me. Now, with each of the controls, we have the properties, but we also have events. And this is event method driven um, development. So I can either double click on the add on the button on the add me and it will create an on click event. Or I can just come and find that method in here and double click. And now we we'll see we have a method added that's going to implement when we click on the button. Now, the button we're just going to use here to take the value from the edit control and add it into the list box. So I'm just going to do list box one. I'm using control space just to invoke the code completion. And as you hit the dot, it will then go and add the next bit in. And it's telling you that it expects a string. So we're going to pass in the edit one text value. Now that's all we need to do, uh, and also just to make it easier now to put in something new, I'm just going to do edit one dot text and use the assigner operation here of full code on equals. And I'm just going to put an empty string, so I'm just going to clear whatever's in the box and add it in. Uh, and in fact, something else I can do. Let's just put an if edit one dot text equals nothing, then we'll just exit. So we're not going to do anything. So we have here two sections. The first is the interface section. And this is defining what it is that um, this class that we created, tform1, does. You know, this is saying what it can do. The implementation section is then saying how it does it. So we can see here we've got a tform. We've got the three controls that have been added. And we can also see that we've now got a procedure called add me, which is of uh, it's a team notification, which is passed in center to object. And then underneath here, we can then see how that is done. So we can see here it's tform ones button add me click. So let's go ahead and run this application. And I'm just going to hit the button here. We can see that's been added in. And then we can just type in hello world. And we see that our code is now working absolutely fine. Now that's um, a 64-bit build. Literally to run the 32-bit build, just select the other target platform that we added. And we now have the 32-bit build version. Now to finish off, I'm just going to put a, a breakpoint in the margin here in my button click. And I'm going to, we've got two options here. One's to run without debugging, which is shortcut is, shortcut is shift control F9 or run with debugging, which is F9. So I'm going to run with debugging now. And we can see that we've got, as we click in here, we now have our call stack brought up, which we can work through and see all the steps that have happened in the code before it's actually got to here. Um, so you can go all the way through that. We can see the different values in the IDE. So we can see here's the, the button. We can see the different values that passed in. We can drill straight down to those. 
Um, we can also put in a watch list here, so I could put in edit one text, and we can see that's just saying edit one, which is the value that's been passed in. Or I can just move the mouse over and it will bring that value up for me. And as I push F8 now to step through, I have got a value, so it passes through this test. It's now going to add it in and clear that through. We can now see that the watch window is updated with the current value. So that's how you can simply get through what's going on behind the, the click at runtime if you need to do any debugging. And there we have it. That's our first VCL application run and debugged.